try this song right here and hopefully I will sing your other but this is a new one I'm working on maybe I won't make a mess of it tonight my faith has been tried
My wife looked at me like, you killed that song. And I did. <laughs> Good to see you back able to be in church tonight. Good to see every one of you in the house of the Lord. What if what if God was to give all of us justice tonight? And instead of mercy, I wonder I wonder where we would would be at tonight if God gave us justice and not mercy. Praise the Lord. Are you all right, Mike? They, they put him on some new medicine today. Huh? They put him on some new medicine today, and it's messing his. But I don't want him to. He's all right. Sick. Listen to what the Word of God said. I want to ha ask everybody, be here on Sunday morning, and let's have a, a, good, a good time in the Lord. Our uh, Sunday... Uh, it seemed like that Sunday school has been and uh, been uh, uh, was down, but uh, we want you to be a part of Sunday morning Sunday school. Well, we want to see God do something great. I want to? I'm on into the Psalms tonight, the 37th Psalms. I want you to pay close attention to the Psalms. That. You don't have to stand with me because I'm going to just take this real slow tonight, verse by verse. It says, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thy envious against the works of iniquity. Now you'll think with me just a minute. How many of us, how many of us are fierce when somebody does something that we, we think is wrong. We just don't want to do with it. I mean, that, that, but this is what he said here. David said, fret not thyself over evil doors. Well, if that's the way they're going to live, and that's the way they're going to do, and that's the way they're going to act, then I ain't going back no more. <laughs> Hallelujah. Think about that. How many times do we use somebody else's evil and lose our blessings. Think about that. How many times do we let somebody's evil keep us from being a, a blessing and getting a blessing from God? See, we shouldn't. We, we, we should not let that happen. You say, but for a long time, I, 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 if they, people do evil, why, uh, uh, if we don't uh, say something about it, then we're condoning it. No, we're not condoning it. But if evil can keep us from being blessed, hallelujah, then we need to be stronger in the Lord. Being able to overcome. The Bible said, he that overcometh, he that overcometh shall inherit all things. Why do we watch uh, my brother Paul's hallelujah? There's times whenever that we need to Speak up. There's times when we need to hold our peace. I've seen times when uh, I could have spoke up and uh, uh, and uh, caused a lot of a lot of heartaches. Hallelujah. There have been times when I, uh, whenever I didn't uh, keep my mouth shut, praise the Lord, because that God said, "Take care of this." You see, whenever that we when you and I have come to the place to where that we let evildoers, we let them take away our blessings. Nobody can take our blessings and our rewards if we don't give them to them. Praise the Lord. Listen to that for Now here's where God takes care of it. Let me read that first and again before I read that second. Fret not thyself because of evil doers. Neither be thy envious against 
the works of iniquity. Why? For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herbs. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I'll repay. Be careful for nothing. See, that's what the Bible said. Be careful for nothing. But we need to, uh, we don't need to tolerate sin. We don't need, need to tolerate these things, but keep your hands off of them. Don't just because somebody else does evil, that don't give you a right to do evil. If somebody says something wrong about somebody, that don't give you right to join them and say that same wrong about that person. Hallelujah. Let God have them. They, he'll come down. He'll take them. He'll, hallelujah, if there's a weed growing in your yard, you want to get rid of it, then spray it. Our living in the fall will come and it'll take care of it. Praise the Lord. Let me go just a little further here. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed. Oh, let's back up here just a I was reading this and when I read all this part, I stopped and I thought a lot of people sit in church and they think about distractions that go on in the church. And then, then when they do, they, then the next thing you know, they're not blessed. They can't be blessed because somebody has done and distracted their mind and their heart and their soul. Hallelujah. I don't like to be distracted when I'm preaching the Word of God. Amen. I like for the Word of God to place itself in every heart, every life, and every soul Amen. that is under the sound of my voice. Hallelujah. But how can we? Now listen, trust in the Lord and do good and so thou shalt dwell in the land <laughs> And verily thou shalt be fed. Don't let this evil get in your mind and in your heart and in your soul and, and keep you from uh, and crowd out, crowd out. You know, you know what? Uh, sickness, sickness sometimes can uh, cause us a lot of problems. Praise the Lord. It, you know, I uh, uh, done something foolishly and and I've uh, uh, and I've dwelt in. Uh, the uh, uh, shadow of it for several several weeks now. But praise the Lord, I, I'm going to come out. But you see, what, what we can do if we dwell upon, well, I don't like what Mousy does, I don't like what, hallelujah, Brother Dan does, and I don't like what Sister Wilma does, and all of that. We can miss blessing after blessing after blessing because we keep our mind off of God and off of the, the glory of God and keep it right on that one thing. The devil will rob you over and over and over and over. The devil will come and rob you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Keep in your mind out of the channel of God, but keep in your mind on evildoers. Hallelujah. Friend, not yourself over evildoers. <laughs> what, 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 but what, hallelujah, what if they, uh, what what if they just keep on doing it? Well, I'll call your hand if I if, when they, if you just keep on doing evil, 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 and I see you doing it, I'll call your hand. It don't take me but a minute to do it. And I don't care to do it. Praise the Lord. What if you hurt my feelings? I won't come back to church no more. You just have to stay at home, honey. Because I'm gonna tell you something. If you're doing evil and I see you doing it and you do it over and over and over, I'm gonna call your hand to it. Amen. Praise the Lord. You might as well just say, get ready for me to say. Hey, that's not the way it does. That's not the way God had it, would have it uh, to be done. Christian or Christian. Hallelujah. Holiness is holiness and evil is evil and wrong is wrong and right is right and whatever uh, path you choose to walk in, 
Hallelujah. You better remember that you've got to answer to God for every ounce of it. Amen. Praise the Lord. You can't, you can't do the wrong things and get by with it. But now let me read you this next one. I like this next one. He said, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee what he shall give you what? The desires of thy heart. What did, oh, wait now. Wait, wait, wait just a minute, brother. Wait, wait just a minute. Wait. Now that, you know what? God, ain't, God won't give you your wants. That ain't what this is saying, is it? Nope. Is this not saying, I will give you your wants? Delight yourself in the Lord. Hallelujah. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of the heart. That's what wants is, his desires. Hallelujah. And whenever that God said, I will give you your wants, then we say, well, 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 well God didn't say it. Would... Read it again. Read it over and over and over. Go to that 37. Hallelujah. Psalms and read and see what God said. I will give you the desires of your heart. And if the desires of your heart, see, he that keeps his mind stayed on the Lord, he will keep you in perfect peace. You don't have to rattle off and say, well, I don't know where the Lord... Let, 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 me, let me tell you something. How many of you remember the night that star fell right here on this floor? Yep. I've had two people that have come to me and said, God, they 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 do pocket books down here and said, God, bless me. Hallelujah. Big blessings. Oh, but the wall of God don't do them. You know why? Because he said, right? well, God don't do this, God don't do this, and God don't do that. God's bigger than our little brains. Amen. Amen. God has something that you and I don't even know about. Do you know that he has a, a gold mines that has billions and billions and trillions of dollars laying out there under these hills? Hallelujah! How about her in vain that men has never found? But God knows where they're at, every one of them. You know what he'll do if he wants you to be rich? He'll show you where them veins are. He'll cause you to buy that old piece of property for a dollar an acre. Hallelujah. Come on and get them veins of gold. But you see, as long as you... Now here, let, let's, let me read you one more here. Just notice something. Com commit thy ways unto the Lord. Trust also in Him. And He shall bring it to Pass. Is this not the Word of God? Mm -hmm. Is this not coming from the Word of God? Is this not what God said? Not what the walls is saying? Praise the Lord. I, I built uh, you know, from, uh, uh, from work uh, uh, week to week, hallelujah, uh, to make a living. I, uh, many and many and many a week. Praise the Lord. Not knowing where uh, that it was coming from, but God know what I had need of before I even thought of it or before I even asked. God know what I had need of. You know what's the matter? There's too many of us that submit ourselves to our own understanding and we, we walk off the bluff. Yep. And then we get what God wants to have. Hey, do what the Bible says. Live well, like the Bible said. Hallelujah. And He will keep you Fed. <coughs> he said, he said, you know what he said? You know what God promised us? Christian, listen to what I'm saying. God promised his Christian 
that we could live in a land flowing with milk? <clears throat> I want to ask you all a question tonight. I, I, I want our boys that have been in service, I want them to know something. I thank God every day for our service men, our men that have gone there. Millions of them are dying. World War II veterans, Korean veterans, hallelujah. I've lived through these. I've saw them. I know what these wars were. And I thank God for our men, Vietnam, all these wars they went and died for. They died on somebody else's land so my man could be free. Yep. Ain't that something to be thankful for? Yes. Ain't that something to have thanksgiving and to worship God for? Thank you, boys, that served in, in our armies and Marines and Air Force and wherever you serve. I want to thank God for you. Thank you for doing that for Brother Waltz. We didn't do that just for you, Brother Waltz. Jesus didn't die just for me either, but I thank Him anyway. Amen. And I thank you for what you've done. We need to recognize. Hallelujah. Delight yourself in the Lord. Hallelujah. And He will do what? Give you the desires of your heart. You can live on Parker, or you can live on Hallelujah Avenue. Or you can live on Parker Street, either one you want to. God has made a way where, hallelujah, where there was no way God made a way. Amen. You know, let, 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 me, let me tell you all something. We got on the highway tonight in Paducah, and we drove up here. It takes about an hour and 20 minutes, or nearly. It takes a little longer sometimes when you have traffic like it is out there. But I remember whenever that you drove an old car that would run 25 or 35 miles an hour. That's top speed, 35 was. I remember when speed law, when the speed limit was 35 during World War II and hallelujah, you drove 35. Can you imagine driving 35 miles an hour? How long it would take you? Praise the Lord. But let me tell you something, it was nice to have one of them you could drive 35 miles an hour. Because some of them horses didn't walk over four or five miles an hour. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And it's sort of good to have, you know, a, 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 a one of them that would run 35 miles an hour. But listen to what I'm saying. But God made it through all of them bottles, through all across those rivers, over through them hills, and around them he was ever works. God made a road and we could get on it. And you know what? Set your old car about, you can sit on about 70, you better not get any faster than 70 today during this holiday because they got them set up on the bridge and they got a little old thing they, they watch you with, you know. And they call, they call George down the road, little words, and Sam down this way. Tell him there comes one speeding. Here's his number. Here's his, here's what he's driving. And boy, they had they had blue lights in. And one time we got to church tonight. I don't think it was anything on the road but blue lights. Praise the Lord. But listen to what I'm saying. They built us something. Our forefathers. Somebody had brain enough to look across the river one time. I seen on the news this week for that this I-69 was it completed it across the, coming across Indiana they'd opened a big portion of it up up through there and uh, uh, I know you say well brother well, that don't make any difference yeah, I won't never live to see it I'm going to just cause y'all are old don't blame me but anyway <laughs> praise the Lord. <laughs> I'm going to drive on that 69. Or oh, may not drive, but I'm going to ride on it anyway. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And, uh, uh, but any, anyhow, that going all the way from Canada to
to Mexico. Coming right down, coming right down here and through this parkway right out there out here behind us and praise the Lord and coming all the way down and now then there's so much traffic down already down on I-24 that it's hard to get on and off of it. What's it going to be for about from from where they, that it gets on here at uh, a parkway to down to where it gets off down there at uh, the other parkway going to uh, yeah. the purchase parkway. Think of all the traffic that's going to be in there for about just a few miles. Hallelujah. But let me tell you something. Somebody had sense enough to sit down and figure all that out over hills and hollers and down across the road. I remember when 62 used to be our main sources. Praise the Lord. And, and the further up 62 you go, of course, low, the older crooker it gets. Sometimes you run into the back of your own car. Hallelujah. And uh, I think you're running into somebody else. You're running in the back end of your car, getting around in the curb. But anyway, hallelujah. Listen to what I'm saying. You don't have to listen to that. <laughs> that wasn't really the truth. But anyhow, hallelujah. Listen to what I'm saying. Somebody had enough knowledge. God gave them enough to where they built us highways we can ride on. I'm proud of it. I don't know about y'all. Praise the Lord. It's a lot more easier sitting up there. Hallelujah. With Sister Wilma driving and you sitting over there, you know, and, and, uh, and then, you know, not, not doing like this, but you're sitting up there and grabbing uh, down the road and I'm sitting over there riding and hallelujah. Sister Wilma's uh, dodging the deers and everything. I don't have to worry about it. So anyway, it's nice to get out there on that on that uh, I-24, some of them would just speed on down the road than it is to get on 62, hallelujah, and don't know what's around the curve. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Come on. Somebody, I'm going to tell you something. Somebody, God gave them knowledge to do these things. <coughs> but what, 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 now wait just a minute. What is the desires of your heart? Is your desires to not have nothing? My desire, hallelujah, uh, is to live to see this completing that I'm looking at now. I've saw, I've lived a good life. I've seen more changes. I've seen more changes than my dad. My granddad, they, my, my granddad was, died back in the 50s. And they were just starting to change a lot of these things. My daddy died in the 70s. Lots of things have gone on since then, but I remember when they used to say, they'll never go to the moon, they'll never do this, they just, how they do it, that's all, just got a big room, they just act like it. I saw all, I heard all of these things said, how they do it, uh, and uh, over the days, but let me tell you something. If you'd have told them, yeah, we got a rocket that can shoot from across the world, here's another, another, uh, town over in some words in law, farm countries, we would have said that'll never happen. But it is happening. Mm -hmm. It is happening. This remember what I said. Now fret not over evil doers. The Bible said that we'd always, we'd always have the sinners with us. He said you'll always have the poor. Hallelujah. Don't fret. Don't fret over what? Hallelujah. That you're not that you're not getting from God. Thank God for what you are getting and He'll give you more. See, people want to they want to fuss and say, Well, God, look what God done for so and so, but He didn't do it for me. But look what they done for God that you didn't do. Think about that. Praise the Lord. Ain't God wonderful? Amen. Praise the Lord. I appreciate my memory preaching long tonight. But I know that a lot of you have got to go home.